there friends, Nibs again. I want to get out and do a little plinking today. Um, just keeping it at home right now. Uh, one of my dogs has got a bad stomach today, so I wanted to stick around the house and make sure uh, we didn't end up with any messes. But uh, that's uh, what you end up with with old dogs. But, uh, so this one here is on loan to the channel. This beast is a Hudson model 125. It's got a name that's about a mile long. I'll put it in the title if you're really interested in looking it up. Um, they call it a Vortex, which uh, was what they're calling their uh, nitro gas piston. And it also has a QE technology, which is basically a silencer or a moderator or whatever you want to call it on the front. Um, just going to be testing. Got a couple of different pellets here. This is my first first go around with it, so <clears throat> I expect I'll take it out to the range a few more times uh, before I do return it back to the owner. But right now it's on loan, and uh, we'll have some fun with it. These are, like I said, just my first test with it. I'll do a couple of groups. Uh, he sent the thing along with these pellets, the Range Masters, and then I have uh, some Rifle brand round nose and some rifle brand pointed nose and we'll do i don't know maybe like a three three shot group from each one just to uh see how it does <clears throat> this thing does have a pretty massive cocking force it uh the specification on the website for this is uh 50 pound cocking force which I believe it's all of that. Good thing I've been using my Bowflex. So I do, I'm only shooting about 20 yards here today. Uh, I could go out to about 30 in my backyard here, but for now we'll see how it does at 20 and if we need to move it out from there, we'll do that. All right, looks like it shot pretty low. I was shooting at the upper uh, bull on that one and hit the, uh, lower bowl but <clears throat> we'll keep going so these are the the pointed pellets the rifle pointed 26.24 grain so this is still a current production production gun you can still buy this uh, they have it at uh, several different pyramid air whatever Too bad looking group even though it is a little low we'll just uh, I don't want to mess with the zero right yet all right well not too bad a looking group I did run some of these pellets across the crony. I think I did the pointed ones. No, I did the round ones. And <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll post up a picture of the uh, screenshot of the uh, screenshot of the crony uh, save data. See where that one hit. Is it in that triangle? Okay, yeah, it's in the triangle right in the middle between the two targets. I'm shooting to, shooting to the two center bullseyes there, or the upper center bullseye right now. And looks like this one, the point of impact's a little higher on it. Does pack a punch. Uh, I was reading right around 750 feet per second, and uh, that equates out to around 30 foot pounds of energy. Oh, forgot the safety.
All right, well, still not a bad looking group. Probably about an inch. Now, the owner of this rifle did say that these ones that he sent didn't didn't uh, group particularly well for him. So let's see if I can do any better with them. Go to the upper left target here. It's down in the, uh, the lower left target. Definitely get your, you have to do a set of curls with your right arm to make up for all the work you did with your left arm here. So far, that one in the same hole as the last one, so. Not sure why he was having trouble with them grouping, but. So far, these ones are showing the best. Yeah, I got no problem with that group. Um, did the best out of all of my pellets that I tested here. All right, I just want to do a quick quick view for you guys. We'll do a full review when I can get this out to the range, but apparently it came with a Hudson uh, sling, which is pretty cool. Um, Got this about a 125 Vortex Sniper. Uh, they do have this in a spring version as well. It's a little less expensive. Um, I imagine it's probably noisier. Um, it does come with a different scope on it. <clears throat> The owner did swap it out for what he said was a little bit better one. It is a decent looking scope. It's a 3 to 12 by 44. Uh, let's see, I was unit on 6 power. I didn't even turn on. It's got a lit reticle. I didn't turn that on at all. Didn't need it out here today. But uh, there you go. Um, you saw the groups. Not too bad. Definitely minute a squirrel. Uh, needs a little bit of an adjustment for the uh, elevation, but. We'll work on that another day. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. You'll get notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time, have a great day.